Wednesday, August 10th, a little bit afternoon, sunny California. Okay, well, I don't think my uh, cucumber is liking me at all. Uh, a couple days ago, I took the tomato plant away from it, as you can see. The tomato plant is still wanting to get on it. And I put some more soil around the base of the plant, but... I don't know if it's just too hot right now and it looks like this. Maybe I'll come out and uh, check it when the sun's not beating down on it. It's only 77 out here right now. We've been having 90 and 100 and so we'll have to see. Uh, this is my zucchini. And again, you can just see uh, since Bowser and they're helping. But there's some blooms, which is good because we haven't had any zucchini in a while, a couple days. And uh, so it'll be good. I'm just letting those humongous ones grow. Like I said, I'm going to seed at least one of them out. Oh gosh, anybody wants some eggplant? Um, it's really good, but I think we're getting burned out on it. And my tomato plants are full of tomatoes, as you can see. Unfortunately, I've got a couple over here that are too exposed to the sun, and that one's not looking so pretty, and I think this one's going to do the same thing, but I'm not really too worried, I, I pull off a few tomatoes every day, and as I showed you before, I cut them up and keep them in a jar, okay, what did I do, yesterday I weeded this all out, and uh, then I planted in the front peas, and beans. Now, I was going to get the packet and show you the packet. I think the packet's really old, so I don't know. Oh, excuse my dogs. The bean packet, I know, is very old, so I don't expect too much from that. And I think the pea, although the pea was brand new opened, I think it was pretty old because it was only 89 cents, and I haven't seen uh, seeds for 89 cents anywhere for a long time, so kind of doing an experiment, see if this will uh, work. I don't expect too much from the, the beans, but we'll have to see. Again, it's pretty hot out here. Um, I thought about getting like um, a shade screen for this area, but never did it, and uh, you know, it's probably getting too late anyway. But uh, here's the potatoes. Potatoes. And um, they actually look like they're doing pretty good, even the one that was all sad looking. It looks pretty good. Excuse my runny nose. And my pepper plants. Oh, and my other potato. You've got two. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? There's, it's sprouting up already. So try to keep dirt on top of them because you don't want the sun to hit it. It makes them turn green. And from what I understand, that's poisonous, so you don't want that to happen. And, uh, all I wanted to show you that, look at, I have shoes on. My shadow, what can I see? Oh, my shadow, okay. Well, anyway, I have shoes on. They're not my shoes. They're my son's shoes. And he's only 16 years old, and that's how big his foot is. <laughs> Thank you, son. But, uh, at least my feet aren't burning. Okay, uh, here's my barrel. Now I'm a little worried about this because I kind of just sprinkled the seeds in there. And I don't know how this stuff is going to grow, if it's going to work. The radishes will be okay, but I don't think I ever grew beets or uh, turnips before. And um, I guess I'll have to get in there and thin them out, which I hate doing because I feel like I'm wasting a vegetable there. Well, look at here. I don't know if that's a pepper <laughs> or if that's a weed. It's probably a weed with my luck, but we'll let it go for a couple days. Then I wanted to show you I'm going to probably... Here's my compost. It hasn't been turned in a while. I did water it yesterday. It looks pretty terrible. 
but I'm going to go ahead and I haven't turned them in a while so I'm going to probably go ahead and turn them today and make another video of that later and I want to just want to show you that is the rest of my backyard and right there is a lemon tree that needs to be cut back really really bad I used to have a really bad lemon fetish so my husband bought me a lemon tree which I still really love I, I, I still uh, get all the lemons off and freeze the juice and have lemon juice Oops, am I showing it? Uh, but what I was showing you was that that is actually where my garden used to be. I used to actually have, I believe, like four boxes. Oh, I just walked down here. Whoops, if I don't kill myself. So right here where this lemon tree is is where I used to have... Actually, we would grow the, the peas and the beans and I think... Um, oh, cucumbers right here. And then over there, in the way, way far, that used to be my compost bin, way over there. But I used to also have, I wouldn't say they were really square foot garden, but we did have everything in boxes. You know, where he just put wood on the ground and we'd fill it up. But way over there, where in the very corner we had uh, one box that was for uh, cantaloupe and uh, pumpkin and zucchini. Then we had another, we had about four boxes out here. And right where the barn shed thing is, it's a shed, uh, that used to be a, a garden as well. And we used to, uh, oh, we planted corn and spinach and tried to grow our own pinto beans. And we got probably about a cup of beans out of that. It was kind of a interesting experience. And that was, of course, before uh, YouTube, or I knew about YouTube, so I didn't, uh, oh, what a mess. Um, didn't, um, you know, didn't take time to take pictures of it, but, so, I think that's about it for this video, that's all I wanted to talk about, uh, let me see, yeah, so I guess I will work on another one in a little while, I hope your garden is going great, if you have any tips or hints or, you know, whatever comments you want to leave, go right ahead, what am I showing you? I need to learn how to use this camera a little bit better and be a little more uh, vigilant on what I'm pointing it at when I'm just rambling. Anyway, happy composting. How's that? Have a great day. I will talk to you later.